Welcome back to the fourth episode on the Solace Agent Mesh. In previous episodes, we've explored the core concepts of Agent Mesh, delved into the orchestrator, and examined agents as the specialized processing units within the Agent Mesh. Today, we're going to turn our attention to another vital component, and that is gateways. Gateways are the entry and exit points of the Agent Mesh, the interfaces that connect the system to the outside world. They manage the flow of information in and out, ensuring secure, structured communication. Let's take a look at the key functions of gateways. First, entry points. Gateways allow external systems and users to send requests into Agent Mesh. This could be through a web UI, REST API, or even a file upload. Any incoming interaction enters through a gateway. Note that entry points could also be in the form of file uploads. Second, exit points. Conversely, gateways also serve as exit points, managing how the process information and responses are sent back to the request initiator. Gateways also have configurable system purpose. Each gateway can be assigned a specific context that defines how it should interpret incoming data. For instance, a gateway for customer support may expect natural language questions about products. This setup helps tailor processing to different domains. You can also customize the output format of a gateway. You can configure how results are formatted before being returned, ensuring compatibility with the receiving system or user. System identity is another important function of the gateway. This is done by defining who is the user sending the request. Think of it as the username or user email address. Note that this is an important point in the agent mesh. Based on the identity initiating the request, the results would vary. For example, a request for updates on sales figures from a branch location would provide different scopes of information in the results depending on the access the user has. Gateways also support multiple interface types to facilitate communication with various external systems. The Solace Agent Mesh comes with built-in gateway interfaces like REST endpoint, web UI, and a Slack interface. Additionally, you can use other official core plugins, such as the Solace Event Mesh Gateway for direct communication with the Solace Event Broker, or even create your own custom gateways. And finally, the history configuration is done on the gateway level, such as enabling or disabling, choosing between a long-term or simple history serves, the size, store type, and location. We cannot talk about agent mesh gateways without mentioning triggers and stimulus. When a request enters via a gateway, it acts as a stimulus, the initial input to agent mesh. This stimulus enters the system via the gateway. The configurable system purpose of the gateway can act as a form of implicit trigger. By defining the context and expected type of input for a specific gateway, you are essentially setting the stage for how the incoming stimulus will be initially understood by the orchestrator and routed within Agent Mesh. Let's take an example to make this clearer. Let's say you have a REST API gateway configured for placing orders. Imagine a REST API gateway configured for order placements. An HTTP post with order details acts as the stimulus. The gateway's purpose which is handling orders, triggers the appropriate processing. In the case of a Slack integration gateway, a message could be sent from a specific Slack channel, which represents the stimulus, will trigger the gateway to forward that message into Agent Mesh for processing based on the gateway's configured purpose. For examples, answering general questions about customer relations profiles or initiating a specific action. The orchestrator, as discussed previously, plays a key role here. It interprets the stimulus, plans, and coordinates the actions among agents, and ensures the final response is formatted for the original channel. The gateway then delivers the output. In essence, gateways are the crucial intermediaries that translate the external world's interactions, in other words, the stimuli, into a format that Solace Agent Mesh can understand and process, guided by their configured purpose, acting as implicit triggers, and then they deliver the results back in a suitable format. That's all for this episode on gateways. In our next episode, we'll dive into the built-in services that provide essential capabilities for the overall system. Thanks.